I'm excited today to talk about the emotional solar plexus center in human design. So this is an emotional center and my specific center within my body graph, within my chart is totally open. So what this means is I have the ability to become quite wise around the emotional center, the solar plexus center, because I have to be. Because if I don't, then I'm absorbing and taking in so much of this energy and I'm not knowing what to do with it, I don't have boundaries, what happens is I can get very sick, I can get overrun by the emotional solar plexus energy. So this is something that I've worked with for many years now because I got sick over 10 years ago and one of the main reasons was because of my emotional body. So in this video, I'm going to be talking about the solar plexus center, whether you have it defined or whether you have it undefined. Both, it's really important emotions. If you've got it defined, it means that you're generating this emotional energy from within. If you've got it open, it means you're more absorbing this emotional energy from outside into you. So there's a slight difference, but I'm mainly just wanting to talk about this emotional center. Firstly, what is an emotion? Emotion is energy in motion. So as I said, we live in an extremely emotional world. Over 50% of the population have a defined solar plexus center. So over the 50% of the population have this energy, this emotional energy being generated from within and coming out into the world. Unfortunately, there's very little awareness, uh, guidance, teaching around the emotional body. It's probably the least out of the spiritual, physical, mental and emotional bodies that we all carry. The emotional body probably has the least amount of attention on it through our schooling education, through our family upbringings, because it's so unknown and it's mysterious and it's volatile and chaotic and unknown, unpredictable, it can't be controlled. So therefore, people have sort of shunned this part of themselves. So all of us often grow up with a very immature emotional body. So when we look out into the world and we see chaos, we see disturbances, it's mainly because of the solar plexus center, because of the emotional body, it's not mature. It's like, a, a young child, even though it's a man, you might be watching someone on TV or whatever, a 55-year-old, 6-year-old, doesn't matter, but he might have the emotional body of a 5-year-old. So there's just chaos being created in this world and it's, it's hugely from this body. So if we can start to become aware and gain more maturity in this part of ourselves, then we can go about creating huge healings within ourselves physically, mentally, emotionally, and spiritually, if we come in and direct at the solar plexus emotional center. So out of all the authorities, the emotional authority, the solar plexus authority is the strongest. And that's pretty easy to know because if someone has a strong emotional response, it can take over everything. It can take over their decision-making, their life. It's just like, whoosh. if someone's angry, they're going to act through the lens and perception of that anger. Unless they're highly advanced and developed emotionally, they can allow the anger to be present, witness it, and still make a decision by being grounded and rooted in themselves rather than getting swept by the anger. So there's a difference. But if you've got a defined solar plexus center, what's going to happen is your emotions are going to go in waves. Now this is very known within the human design community it's like okay yeah if you've got an emotional solar plexus center allow your waves and allow the whole cycle to go through which could go for a few days it could go for a week but allow yourself to go up and go down and then make a decision now the best thing to know about that is to slow down the decision making process but unfortunately it doesn't often we aren't told how to be with our emotions. Because if you're not connected to your emotional body, if you're not rooted in your emotional body, and you're either disconnected and dissociated from your emotional body, which is a lot of people are because there's a lot of pain in the emotional body, 
or you just get absolutely swept by the emotional body, which ends up causing chaos in your environment, then if you're just waiting for your wave, you're actually not really in your truth because what you're responding to is trauma and emotional pain from your past that is just being recycled and replayed into the present moment, which then you recreate the future. So the past, you're grabbing your past and you're just placing it in front into your future because your emotional body is immature and it's taking you for a ride or you're dissociating from it. So what we want to do is heavily reconnect to our emotional bodies. Now this is for people who have a defined or undefined center because even if you have an undefined center, you're absorbing and taking in this emotional energy, you want to allow it to move through and process, not to identify with it, get stuck with it. So how do we do this? I've talked a lot about this emotional energy, the importance of this center, and it's actually going through a mutation up until 2027 where this takes place. And it's moving from a motor center, so generating pure energy and emotion and humans almost being ruled by this emotional energy to having awareness of this emotional energy rather than being in it or dissociating and just leave it. Dissociation is when your awareness actually leaves yourself and it's almost like you're just on autopilot and you don't feel anything because you've just left. And this is sort of like energetically just, just left. And you'll notice this in your life if something happens that's sort of stressful or something and you just go into autopilot. And this is just a survival mechanism. But what's ideally going to happen is we can become centered, rooted and grounded in ourselves at a very deep level. Have these emotions, which is just energy moving through us, which actually is so enriching without emotions to be a very monotone existence. So this gives us the a richness of life, but then to have the awareness to witness the emotion and allow the emotion to be as it is. That's the key. Pretty much 99.99% of people like to control an emotion. And the control comes from the mind. So people... If they get sad, angry, jealous, all these uh, uneasy emotions or unpleasant emotions, the mind wants to control that experience. And it will do that by distracting itself or shutting down the emotion by having alcohol, drugs, uh, cigarettes, social media, anything to escape the pain inside. And it's all coming from a controlling place. And when we do this, the emotional body stays at a very immature place. But when we can allow that emotion to come through, let's say that there's some sadness, there's some jealousy, there's some anger, whatever it is, loneliness. I want you to start to identify where in the body that is, the emotion is here, in the physical body. Identify where that is. And just feel it. Just accept it and be with it. And you can start reparenting these emotions that are often all the way back from childhood. All the way back from when we were three years old and we had a joyful experience, an opening experience where we were like, hey, mom, look at this. And it was and something happened and maybe we knocked a glass off the table and then we were yelled at, then we were punished. And that's a, that's a sort of normal situation. A lot of people also have really intense traumatic situations as well. But we all have situations where our emotions were running through us and then they were cut and shut down and it's, then we start to begin to shame ourselves and shame these emotions and shut these emotions down from such a young age. So all these emotions are wanting to come through from childhood, so they want to come up into our awareness and they the way that they're healed is to give them full presence, full acceptance and time and space just to be held in your own awareness and then they can start to move again 
because they've been stuck. And only when we start to move our emotions, when we start to allow our emotions to flow more and more, then if you've got a defined solar plexus, you can listen to your wave and get true clarity because it's true clarity because your awareness is truthfully allowing the emotions to be. Most people do not allow and accept an emotional response. So what happens is we think we're listening to this wave, but it's actually just mixed with with trauma, suppression, and it's just unclear. The wave is unclear. So the first step is to truly listen and accept your emotions, and then you can give time to this wave. And people with an undefined solar plexus like myself or a totally undefined solar plexus, what this allows us to do is go out in the world and rather than be totally bombarded with emotions and shut down, we can allow the emotions to come through and move through us. So if you look at a baby, a one or two year old baby, you watch their emotional range and they've got a huge emotional range because they're allowing their emotions to flow uninhibited. Then if you look at a 12 year old, the emotional range has been cramped and squashed because of the upbringing, society, education system that you know this emotion's good that's bad you need to act like this so we start to really constrict ourselves and we begin to age and we begin to shut down so what my invitation to you is is to reawaken your emotions it's not about how good you feel it's about how good you are at feeling and I want you to invite that in. I want you to invite, it's really not about me feeling good today. It's about how much can I allow myself to feel and breathe through these feelings and accept them. Because what's going to happen in each and every one of our lives, each and every day, an emotion's going to come through. Your awareness, which is who you are, your pure awareness, you experience the world through pure awareness through the lens of the five senses. But behind the five senses, your pure awareness. That's what I am, that's what you are, that's what life is. Just pure awareness come here to experience itself through these senses and potentially beyond. So what's going to happen is an emotion's going to arise and your awareness, rather than the mind coming in and judging and controlling, Slow down the breath, give yourself time. The pure awareness is going to come through and it's going to meet this emotion and it's going to meet it somehow. And it's more challenging when it's a challenging emotion. Let's say emptiness and loneliness. So that comes through. Your awareness comes in. How you meet this emotion is everything in your life. This will create magic or it will create suffering and destruction. So if you meet this emotion with, that's a bad emotion, I need to shut it down, I need to constrict, I need to control, this is the deepest form of self-rejection, of self-hatred, because this is a unique expression coming through you, and then there's a self-judgment and self-hatred. If this emotion comes up and you meet it with total acceptance, wonder, curiosity, space, time, this is the greatest act of self-love because it's accepting yourself at the deepest, most vulnerable space that was rejected way back through childhood. And now there's this huge acceptance and ultimately massive levels of transformation can occur very quickly in your life. So I wanted to share about the, the solar plexus emotional center. Hopefully that uh, inspired some of you. Hopefully you got some some knowledge or wisdom out of that share and I truly believe I hold this uh, topic of utmost importance at this time in the world for human beings to take back their power, to take back their love and to create the lives that they really want. So if you're looking for one-on-one -on -one coaching I offer that to people in a really transformational container and if you're a projector as well 
I have free training, which I'll put a link below, as well as a six-week online embodiment projector training. And yeah, there's lots there if you want to dive deeper. Wishing you all the best on your journey, and bye for now.